What a long flight. I'm so bored. Cap calls this the Admiral's doorbell. I wonder why. Oh, that must be it. I guess I got some planning to do. Hello, valued viewers, and welcome back to the Reapers. Cap has asked me to put together a short video concerning the jettison function of Heat Blur's F4E Phantom. Now, normally, I'm a fan of the manual, and you can find the procedures here. But today, the jettison system for the F4 is very straightforward. What I've done to facilitate jettison operations is bind a few of the switches to my keyboard. The first example is the external stores emergency release, which is bound to my E on my keyboard. The stores selection for my jettison selector, which I bound to the S. And finally, you guessed it, my J keyboard button for the jettison button. First, we'll address the external stores emergency release button, or as Cap calls it, the Admiral's doorbell. This button will jettison all of your external stores except for your missiles, uh, sidewinders and sparrows, and a lantern pod if you have it, or the pave spike pod if you have it, or the jamming pod. It's important to note that the jamming pod does not get jettisoned and cannot be jettisoned at any time from the aircraft. This also goes for the paved spike mod. Apparently they're too valuable for pilots to just get rid of willy-nilly. If I want to jettison a store from any pylon, all I have to do is select that pylon, rotate my selector button to stores, and push the jettison button. This applies for any store at any station on the wing or center pylons. If I want to eject a uh, Sparrow missile, I merely have to rotate the selector. In this case, it's to the right aft. If I try to jettison one of the forward sparrows, like so. I am unable because we still have stores at the center station. So in order to eject sparrows, first I have to go to the center station, back to stores, jettison the center station, where then I can come back in and eject I'm sorry, jettison one of my uh, forward sparrows. The sidewinders cannot be jettisoned. If you want to get rid of them, you'll have to go to your arm position, select the heat, and pull the trigger. To summarize, the F4 jettison system is pretty straightforward. Emergency jettison will jettison everything except for your sparrows and sidewinders. Individual weapon stations can be selected and with the jettison switch in the store position you can jettison that way. Sparrows have to be jettisoned individually with the provision that your forward sparrows cannot be jettisoned until after you remove your centerline stores. Sidewinders can only be removed from the aircraft by firing them. The pave spike and ECM systems are not jettisonable on this aircraft. That's it for today. I hope this helps. Have a good one. Push out.